and we conducted a survey in late 2021, early 2022 around uh, career mobility and internal mobility. And as you can see on the slide here, there's some stats and I'll save them for the recording purposes so people have them. But 50% of global respondents look at internal candidates when filling open positions. So my first question is why? What's preventing people at looking more broadly as there's a whole talent pool? Why are we not accessing it? And I think Sarah's already mentioned one example is that whole talent hoarding is a reason. But why else is that happening? And we're going to explore that a bit further. And 33% say their company culture supports job mobility. And again, what is that culture? Are we a culture that encourages people to develop, reskill, move around? Are they encouraging people to stay within one place? So we'll talk a little bit around examples where organizations actually, how the culture impacts mobility. And the last stat on here, 27% regularly measure internal career mobility. And this is an interesting stat as we look around performance reviews from senior leaders in an organization. How are they setting the tone? How are they impacting that? I've seen an organization where they put it as part of their bonus Criteria is actually if they're encouraging career mobility and having career conversations. So I've seen that happen in organizations. So we'll explore that a little bit in some of the situations and uh, scenarios that we're going to go through.